My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our journey into examining the passages and excerpts of Dua Kumain, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, in this wonderful passage, he says, وَبِجَبَرُوتِكَ الَّتِي غَلَبْتَ بِهَا كُلَّ شَيْءٍ Oh Allah, I ask you, by your mighty power, your might, your invincibility, that overwhelms everything. The might and power of Allah overwhelms everything. Everything in existence is by the system of Allah. Who can challenge the system of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Sometimes we human beings, we feel very arrogant. If we have a government on earth, we have a company, we have some power, we think we can defy Allah. We think we can change the equations of the universe. Who are we to change the equations of the universe? Everything, even the cells in your body, they are subject to the power and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every atom in the universe is subject to the power and will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, the Holy Quran tells us that everything, not just humans or angels or jinn, everything in creation worships God and glorifies God. Let's expand on what this means. وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ the Qur'an says everything in existence glorifies God. How, do, how does it glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When we examine the traditions of Ahlul Bayt, they beautifully explain how everything in the universe glorifies God. First of all, we believe that everything has a level of perception. Yes, not the level of perception that we human beings have, because we've been given the intellect, but everything in existence has a level of perception. In fact, modern scientists are making discoveries on that every day. If you've ever heard of the tuning fork, it's a type of fork that they use in the lab. Basically, it generates vibrations. Scientists are able to de detect that everything in existence, even the atoms, they generate specific types of waves, specific types of signals. It's as if they're speaking. And subhanAllah, Allah in the Qur'an doesn't say you can't hear them. Allah doesn't say, وَلَكِنْ لَا تَسْمَعُونَ تَسْبِحَهُمْ Allah doesn't say after He says that everything glorifies God, but you can't hear. No, we can hear. Modern scientists have the equipment to hear the vibrations coming from everything in the universe. It's as if everything is saying something, speaking. But the Qur'an says, وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِحَهُمْ But you can't discern what they're saying. You can't understand what they're saying. But the Qur'an is very clear that they glorify the Almighty God. Everything by virtue of its existence points you to God. Look at any object, look at a piece of rock, examine an atom, examine a cell. Everything in existence basically tells you that I am in need of a creator. I didn't make myself, I didn't create myself, did I? So know that there is a God. That's why everything in existence is a sign that points you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take these signs. In fact, in a beautiful hadith, and Imam al-Sadiq states, even the ceiling glorifies God. It does tasbih. It stops the tasbih when it collapses. Think about that. What does that mean? When the ceiling is intact, what does the ceiling communicate to you? If it were to speak, what would it say? If theoretically it were to speak. The ceiling or any building or any structure basically tells you I didn't construct myself. Someone made me. An architect, a builder, a developer, someone made me. I did not make myself. The Imam salam says when you see a ceiling, you know that it has a builder. When you look at this vast universe, does it not have a builder? Does it not have a creator? When you see a simple ceiling, look at the ceiling here. You know someone put it together. 
That's how it's intact. The ceiling could not have raised itself and put itself in this form. It's impossible. What about the grandness of this universe? The grandness of this universe. Just by random events, it came into existence. Everything glorifies God because everything is telling you that I have a Lord. I have a creator. Once there was, a, there was an atheist by the name of Desani. This man was regularly speaking to Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam. He would debate the Imam. And he would reject the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day, he was in the presence of Imam al-Sadiq when a young boy was playing with what? With an egg. Small egg. The Imam alayhi salam told this atheist, Daisani, he told him, look at this egg. Do you see this egg? How it has a hard shell on the outside. Then a softer one. Then it has a golden liquid. And a silver white liquid. Neither does the golden liquid mix with the silver one. No one has entered inside of it to tell us what the contents of it is. Is there a chick that's growing in it or not? The Imam gives him fabulous descriptions of this egg. The Imam salam tells him, this little egg over here, it's like a fortress. The Imam says, fortress, it's a fort, it's so strong and powerful, even though it has such a small shell. The Imam tells him, don't you think this has a creator? Someone designed this egg for, for this creature? He was baffled. He was not expecting that from the Imam al-Sadiq salam. Now, by the way, the Imam uses the word fortress because indeed the shell, the skin of the egg has been proven to be so powerful that scientists actually try to test how much weight it can handle. If you take an egg and you apply pressure to it equally from all angles, you can easily break it, but if you apply pressure to it, in an equal way, it can actually withstand 90 pounds of weight. Scientists have demonstrated that in the lab. They will squeeze the egg and they will put 90 pounds of weight on it. And it can withstand that weight. The Imam says, look at this small shell. Who's the one who developed it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, is the designer. These are all signs. They're very clear. Clearer than the sun. And Al-Imam Al-Hussein Sallallahu Alaihi in Dua Arafah, what does he say? Ilahi mata ghibta anna hatta tahtaja ila dalilin yadullu alayk. He says, oh Allah, you know sometimes when you're trying to look for evidence that God exists, you know what Imam Al-Hussein Alaihi Salaam says? He says, oh Allah, when were you ever absent? For you to need proofs to verify your existence. When were you ever absent? So that now we're trying to prove your existence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always been there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source of all life. The source of everything. Hold on to that power. Don't we human beings love power? We love power. Let's not deny that. Every human being deep down inside loves power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source of all power. The power of God, the mightiness of God, overpowers everything and overwhelms everything. Even if you love power, get closer to Allah because you will connect yourself to the source of all power in the universe. That's how a servant of God, a weak creation of God becomes powerful by attaching yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will grant you that power. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our hearts for guidance. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to see His attributes so we can seek closeness to Him. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi tayyibin al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alihi Muhammad.